Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to do a overview of how to upgrade your graphics drivers because there was a really strange, interesting discussion in one of my live streams about drivers and how they can corrupt an installation. So, as you can see, what I've done here is I've taken out my Intel Arc A770 um, and I've installed a Radeon RX 7900 XT. So I did an unboxing video of this, this is the reference card just to kind of show the GPU down there you can see it's, it's kind of bland, doesn't have any LEDs or anything lighting up but it is in there and this is kind of how it looks on the screen. So this is a 1440p monitor um, but it's still it, it booted up and it's got only like the one monitor uh, lit up so the primary display is on, the secondary display is off, it's in standby so we're going to log into Windows and we're going to show how to update the driver so once you're logged into Windows, you're going to want to go to amd.com. Um, notice how everything looks really big, even though this is a 1440p monitor. That's because uh, the driver is currently not running. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to Downloads and Support. Downloads, and we're going to go to Drivers. And then scroll down. So you're going to choose whatever one is applicable to your graphics card. So in this case, we have a... RX 7900 XT and then you're going to also want to download the one that's specific to your operating system so in my case this is Windows 10 so I'll choose that one and then it shows here Adrenaline 23.2.2 Wickle driver so we're going to want to download this it was released it looks like it was released literally today so we're going to download this and then once that's downloaded, we're going to run through the installer and show what that looks like. Okay, so once that's downloaded, you're going to want to open the file. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to close the browser. We're also going to make sure that we've closed out of any sort of games or um, any other applications. So the browser should be closed. Outlook should be closed. If this is done on like a work PC, for example, you want your email client to be closed. Um, and we're just going to run the driver installer and let it install the latest driver. Okay, so here's the installer. So I just leave it on default. It's going to put it in the C drive. So it says space requires 1.8 gigabytes. That's pretty large. So we're going to go ahead and hit install and let this run. We're going to do this in real time so that people can see uh, what this process looks like. Because there was a big discussion on one of my streams recently. People were talking about how installing drivers can break the Windows install, which I've never actually seen that happen. So we're going to install this and see if... We'll just kind of show how it's done, I guess, for those, just to make sure, just to rule out any kind of user error. Um, so here we go, it's loading up. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do an install upgrade. There is also this option to do a factory reset optional. You don't need to do this. Typically, you do not need to do this unless you are uh, installing from a really, really, really old graphics driver. Um, at, like, for instance, if you were on, like, a R9 Fury or an HD7970 or something that is no longer supported, and if the driver is that old, then maybe it's it's it would be a good idea to do this. But in my scenario, we don't need to do this because we're just upgrading from the previous one from January. So that's totally not recommended or not, not necessary. So we're going to leave that unchecked. We're just simply going to do an upgrade. So again, I'm not doing a factory reset. We're just going to install and let it go. This is typically how I've always handled any sort of driver update. And I've never had any of these problems. There's no reason to do any sort of DDU or any of that stuff. Uh, literally, all I've done is I've taken the Intel Arc GPU out. Um, I will point out, you can see the Intel Arc Control Center is still there, even though we no longer have the Intel Arc GPU uh, installed in the PC, nor do we have a Intel-based processor. This computer is equipped with a Ryzen 7 7700X. So you can see now the driver is almost completed. 
And again, it's important to not have any other application running while you're doing a driver update because you don't want something running through the, the video pipeline uh, to that could potentially cause a problem. So if you do it this way, it should be good. So now, if you want the to allow AMD to collect anonymous usage info, you can leave that checked or you can uncheck that. Uh, and then we're going to want to restart the PC. And once it comes back up, then we should be good to go. So now we're just going to let it reboot. So there's the post. There it is. And there we go. Now I see the correct resolution is applied, so we're now at 1440p, and I can see the light on my other monitor. We now can move the mouse around the other monitor, so that means we now have both displays enabled. So once you're in Windows, you can just verify. See, now the Radeon Adrenaline software is there, and then if we go to display settings, now I have both of the monitors, and I always want to check that the display refresh rate is set to the maximum, so we're at 144 hertz on both monitors. And then there we go. We're now inside the Adrenaline settings, and you can see up to date. There you go. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys found that useful. That is how to upgrade or install a AMD Radeon driver. Hope you guys found this video useful, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.